Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. And if you're new here, welcome. Hi. July 7th, Cancer Sun, and your buddy for the next little bit while we take a look at your November 2022 Love Energy reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out all my other videos and see what we've got going on here in my little crabby shell. I do appreciate it. Gemini, we are going to do a 10-card spread for you as we are right on the verge of an energetic new year with the 11-11 portal. A lot of stuff resetting, a lot of stuff going direct. The big boys are finding their way home, and uh, we're getting ready to take off as we head off from Scorpio into Sagittarius season. Some more water and fire happening. We haven't had this happen since July and August. Ooh. Here the Emperor and the Hierophant. Oh, I said that before I even pulled it. Neat. Okay, so Gemini already knows what they want, so this should be a fun little 10-card spread for you guys. A lot of Scorpio and Taurus energies right now, so be sure to check all that stuff out. And uh, let's make it through this full moon, this eclipse, and this 11-11 portal together. Sun. All right. Here we go. 10-card spread for Gemini. Let's do it to it. We will use the Rider Waite Tarot for our base cards and the Mystic Mondays for our clarifiers. All right, Gemini. Present energy influenced the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles, protecting all the chakras and everything that you've got going on so that you can stay grounded and in your place to the point of making a Scrooge McDuck type vault around your city to protect your heart, just like how he is holding this one pinnacle over his heart chakra. Also protecting above his crown chakra, too. Interesting. Present energy is the Seven of Swords. You are starting to clear up the desktop that is your brain, looking back at past influence, present influence, thinking about future influences, and just cleaning the desktop up, putting stuff into folders, filing away, and putting some couple swords into the recycle bin, only taking what you need to survive. The immediate influence that's inf influencing this, if that makes any sense to you at all, is the Hanged Man. The butt blanket card from the Lightseer's deck does show up, showing that you're in a place that you know where you are kind of holding off, almost like a self-induced hermit mode coming up there. But you, uh, you also can come out of it anytime you want, which is very Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very air energy when you tie that to sword energy. Um, just kind of that you understand the energies that are going on right now, and you're trying your best and hardest to work with them. It's, 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 it's ten swordsy when it happens, but, you know, it's it's... It's what Geminis are very good at. Air signs understand how to use the swords. The other three elements kind of get a little nervous by it and that. But, the, you know, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius kind of understands that the sword just laying there on a rock isn't going to hurt anybody. It takes somebody to pick that sword up and plunge it in. So you're working to put away the swords that you don't need anymore, that you don't want to use to hurt anybody. Your goal is Aquarius energy with the star. Just that you simply want to be that star. You want to be the water bearer. You want to come with a full cup and, and present it to those that come correct to you and get that reciprocated energy. It just shows you focusing on what you want. And it's air energy being Aquarius. So it's showing that, so to speak, that you are in your element right now. Now, in the distant past, going way back, like four cells young, back when you were in front of that screen reviewing your past life and deciding that you wanted to be a Gemini in this lifetime, Maybe a little bit before you picked your parents, but probably not. We have the Fool. Aries energy comes out, showing that you, in the distant past, you've, this is what you've always wanted. This is kind of ties to your Aquarius skull energy here, but you wanted that new leap of faith, that new beginning. You'd done so much rough stuff in the past before that you were ready to take a leap forward and, and just kind of have it your way this time, you know, kind of unsure of the road ahead, but knowing that there's, there's, there's things in place to help keep you going. You know, there's there's eight cups energies and there's tower moments and that that, you know, keeps redirecting the energy to keep you on this path for the beginning. Just because you take that leap doesn't mean it's done like that quick. It takes time for energies to um, manifest. And, and air signs are very good at manifesting. Has become a little more recent, recent past energy, getting a little more, you know, this year, this summer, that type of thing. We have the page of pentacles. So. Just showing that you you would try this. You, even maybe your person did that. There was that little energy of let's try to go one step forward and see what happens. And they wanted to hold back, you know, kind of the energy of what if we try and fail, but what if we try and succeed type thing. So one of you guys put it down on the table, whether it was with one person or you did it with multiple people because you were just on this star energy trying to find this fool energy for a new beginning. 
And so kind of like, okay, this person isn't interested. This person isn't interested. This person isn't interested. And you just keep going forward, but you keep putting that page of pentacles out because he has the ace of pentacles and wants to plan it. So, and that's, that's what the page does. It's a smaller energy because he's looking for that place that's nice, good, grounded, stable soil to plan it so that it'll work. Your future influence, what you've got going on um, as we head off into the next level is the five of wands, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Some fire energy comes in and air onto a fire makes the fire brighter. So this is showing that 11-11 portal energy and the stupid tent comes out fighting and struggling because in order to get that six of wands victory that you're wanting to manifest, you have to set up the stupid tent. You have to go through the four of wands, the five of wands, four of wands makes your wish, five of wands is doing the work to make that wish happen. And the six of wands is actually when it does happen. So you're fighting with the tent and your goal is to either six of wands set it up or six of wands go to the Howard Johnson and just spend the night inside in air conditioning. You're not sure yet, but you're doing that work and fighting it. And on the other side of the coin with your person, it's the spirit dumping it into them that even when they try to act normal, calm and stable and cool, calm and collected, they keep thinking about you and it gets them up into their head a lot. Let's get some clarifiers on this because with this Four of Pentacles energy, focusing on the whole thing, it's just showing just being very much where the energies are locked in the way that no matter how much your person tries to forget you, they can't, Gemini. It's just not what they do. All right, so let's grab some clarifiers on these starting at the present energy, right? Start at the beginning. All right, let's see what we got here for Gemini. I love and appreciate you guys. If you would like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, hang out with me. We'll do all that awesome sauce that we do. All right. Clarifiers for Gemini for November of 2022. You are making them up in their fields because there's a lot of strength coming here and uh, with Leo energy shows up. Right now, basically what this is showing is an energy at the bottom of the deck is what spirit's dishing out to you and your person to give you guys the strength to pull through this. Whether it's coming back together or not, it's just showing that that strength to proceed, that either either it's you or it isn't you, one way or another, Gemini is going to keep going forward, stay strong, and not wander off their path. They know what they want, and they will adjust it because water always seeks its own level. Nine of Wands is your clarifier in the present energy. A little more strength, a little minor arcana showing up, a little Leo Sag comes out. Just getting to that point that you don't want to do anymore. You're at that Ten of Wands. You're right there. You're one wand away. You're just finishing packing up the backpack so you can sit it down and walk away from it, and you know you've only got one wand left to be deal with. Clarifying the immediate influence, we have the tower. Well, like I was saying, Gemini, that spirit will instate towers to affect what we call free will. Everybody says they have free will. You can be driving in your car and you can say you're going to turn left right here, right now. And uh, spirit could also put a tree in that spot. And if you continue to use your free will to choose to turn left, you will then run into the tree. That's how you do a tower moment. But, I mean, you want to turn left, spirit's, spirit goes willy wonk and says, no, wait, stop, come back. Okay, you know, you can go ahead, go touch stove once if you want. But um, after that, have you learned your lesson? That type of a thing. It'll always instigate it. Same on your person's side. They can keep trying to be cool, calm, and like, well, I'm going to go. And since Gemini and I don't talk anymore, and I wasn't sure and ready what I really wanted, then I'm going to go try it with somebody else. Let's go, let's date around, see what we get. And for some reason, the dates never work out. They never go right. They get ghosted. The person never shows, or they show in their nut jobs, whack a doodle oatmeal north of the eyebrows, that type of thing. Spirit will keep doing that, going, okay, you're not ready to go back to Gemini? No problem. We'll just keep throwing you a little more shit your way. You'll get it right eventually. Go ahead. Touch the stove again if you want. We, everybody gets one. Right, Spider-Man? Clarifying your goals and destinies, the outcome that you want is the two of ones. Being at that fork in the road and at the point where you're ready to slam the gas pedal to the down, just like Archer's Chariot has with that light-up gas pedal, that once it's full tilt, the spirit's already made the decision, and that's what they're telling your person. Look, you need to go this way. You keep saying you want to go this way. We're going to keep stopping you because Gemini is your star. The air energy is strong with this one. Swords getting shoved into your person's head hardcore. Clarifying your distant past, we have the King of Swords standing at the top of that mountain. The King of Swords knows how to use the sword, and he's got it down. Doesn't have to fight if he doesn't want to, but if he needs to, he's going to know exactly what to do. The King of Wands comes correct, and that's exactly what it is. Gemini energy coming out of that. I feel it right off that fool. That this this new beginning is all about you, and your person sees sees it from that perspective of like, oh shit, I effed up, and uh, Gemini don't care anymore. Even if you do care, however it is that you're carrying yourself, is that you don't, <clears throat> and it's making your person feel it. Um, that page of Pentacles, that smaller energy that clarifies into the recent past, we have the King of Wands. More Leo Aries and Sad shows up with that fire. 
This one's at the mountain with the real wand showing that, I mean, that's what it was. You came correct with the right wand energy and if somebody else can't match up to it, then that's not what we're going to do because now your person is starting to feel it. He wants to get up there like and go forward with it. There's no gender in tarot, but you know what I mean? Every time you came forward that page of pentacles, you were in a king of wand energy. And every time they try to come out with it, they just can't get to that point. They're looking at you and you're looking good. That's the thing. Clarifying your five of wands, the stupid tent card, the future influence is going to lead us off into the future. We have the three of wands, two and three of wands. Things are lining up as the planets start to go direct and things start to even back out as we come into and through the 1111 portal and head off towards the next new moon. Um, this energetic new year shows that the timing is right for this stuff to get done, to get to the end of that five of wands energy. And you guys are both using strength. Spirit is doing this three of pentacles style. It's giving you the strength to carry on and go forward and look good. And your person is giving them the strength to finally pull their head out of their ass and open their pie hole. You know, that's very Leo energy. Give them the center stage because they deserve it. All right. Let's look forward into the future for you guys from a current energy, the astrological influences, which are humongous right now with what's going on in Scorpio um, and Taurus. Those are the big key factors. Jupiter going direct is a big deal. North Node stuff happening. I mean, just look it up. It's crazy freaky deaky. All right, Gemini, I appreciate you for being here. And if you are here on Wednesday, come back tonight and join yours truly. We go live for an awesome little All Signs reading tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Set your bell, set your notifications, hang out. In the meantime, play some music on my channel. Check out something I did in my spare time. And uh, I, I play with more than just little cards. I got a couple guitars too, but that's what we do. It's Motor City. It's a base area, you know, Motown, Motown sound. All right, current energy for you guys, Gemini. We've got the Ten of Swords. Literally what I was bringing up in the in, in this past energy of where you've been at, that you've been through the ringer. Every, it, this is the why does everything always happen to me card, like everything's fine. You're down in the ditch and all ten swords, you know, you got that last sword. Somebody walked up behind you while you were down and out on your luck and they plunged that sword right up into your spinal cord. And like really at the no bueno point where you, you almost like if you could run, you did. That type of a thing. Just very much both you and your person are up in their fields. You're, 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 you're doing your best not to let it show, but this is like staying up all night, thinking about what's going down. And you're bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, trying to stay grounded and stable. It's showing that as stuff comes together, the Queen of Pentacles stays very positioned in her throne, as you can see. She, she's not like a Queen of Cups, where the, wearing your heart on your sleeve, Queen of Wands, just the freaking the party girl that everybody loves. To, she pukes on your shoes. And not Queen of Swords diving in with that sword look, being like, look, we can fight. We can do it one way or another. It's like, no, we're doing it grounded and stable. Because you've been through just too much, right? And that energy is affecting you in that way, Knight of Cups. Now, remember, the Knight of Cups is the current astrological influence. And you are indeed hanging out with a Cancer. Cancer Scorpio energy. The Knight of Cups is Cancer. If you get this in a reading, you say that this is Cancer. It's Cancer. The Knight of Cups approaches on a fucking chariot. Cancer. That's current influence right now. As if what the moon was doing wasn't enough. Of course, Cancer is going to be the direct go-to to find out how the moon energy is influencing you. Hi. Um, because if anybody understands moon cycles, it's a Cancer. If you're a female Cancer, you get two cycles a month. If you're a male Cancer, you just get one. And uh, on behalf of the Cardinal Water Signs, I choose to apologize. But it's showing that as the energy starts coming in, correct, your person's going to start exhibiting some Cancerian-like energy, not be able to keep their pie holes shut about how much they love you. And they're going to come out with that loving offer because this is getting to them really bad a lot, right? Ten swords. All these cards are ten swords, which is they can keep trying to turn left in that chariot, but then chariot takes over and puts on auto cruise and it drives them to their frickin' destination, right? Again, it's Cancer energy. Cancer. Yeah, chariot. What is this Knight of Cups doing to you and your person's inner emotions right now? Of course, we have more swords. Four swords. Wanting to call a truce to it. Just set the swords down and please relax. And look, even though in, in back when the Rider Waite was done, cell phones didn't exist in that timeline yet. So... Even he's just sitting there praying. That's because back in this day, they didn't have cell phones. This is your person sitting right there. Both you guys, you guys are mirroring each other. You don't even want to know it or realize it. But remember, Gemini, we think 77,000 thoughts a day. I don't care how bad it was. I don't care how long it's been. They think about you. Don't know what time. Could be real simple when they're just like getting home from work and putting their keys down and they go to get something out of the fridge to drink and they pick up a bottle of water and Gemini comes into their head. 
that type of stuff happens. Down there, just laying, just, just the swords are down, don't want to fight no more. And they're holding on to, like, their phone in their hand. I'm seeing that because it's at that point where they want to send you a text. They want to send you a Queen of Pentacles text, but they're just not there yet. They're, they feel like too much damage has been done. They feel guilty. And they get to that point, even if it's just H-E-Y, they delete it or they back it out or they leave it in a draft folder. They set the phone down and just goes, I just don't want to fight. And I know that I screwed up so bad that, that they're not going to come out of it. But what they don't realize is that Gemini's, you guys can be very forgiving. Again, very Knight of Cups, very much like Cancer. That really all they have to do is an Ace of Swords, just, just a little something. It's kind of like that thing of, yeah, I let you touch the stove, but I'm still waiting here to, to help you heal from the burn that you got from having to touch it. All you have to do is say hi, and it will kind of be like that. Took you long enough. I was waiting, you know. It's it's the person, the apologizer versus the apologizee. You know, the person that needs to apologize, whichever one of you it is, finally doing it and just being like, hey, I'm sorry. Whether it's in a fun way, a cute way, or whatever, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'd like to try this. And you, and expecting the the apologizee to go F you, you tr you F'd me over, more F's, multiple F's, because honestly, F describes everything in the world. It's a nonverb adjective. And, and that's what they're expecting. But then you look and go, it's about time. I've been waiting to forgive you. Whether it's you that's the apologizer or the apologizee, that's kind of how it will go. That's calling a truce where it's just like, okay, it's, we're, it's frick, I still love you. Well, you knew I still loved you. It took you long enough to catch up to me. Let's go to dinner. You know, that type of a thing. Final outcome. Is it what I was saying? Pretty much. You knew I liked you. I knew you liked me. Could we just get past this and go to dinner? Stop screwing around. Stop trying to play Burger King and getting it your way. Stop going gaslighting. Stop being the narcissist. Whichever one I'm talking to right now, whether it's you, Gemini, or it's the person, you know? Sometimes too much emperor energy can be too much. It's like I was saying about the party girl. She's fun until she pukes on your shoes, right? Right. But this final outcome is also very good. The emperor is half the divine couple, and you guys will come together to that point because the apologizer is finally going to apologize. And the apologizee is going to be like, I would have accepted it if you had done the first thing. Let's, let's go to Burger King. We can have it our way. If you take somebody to Burger King for a first date, you, you, Darwin says you don't deserve to date, right? So I, got, I got more date ideas filed away. Dude, somebody's like in for it. You know what I mean? But a total emperor energy. But it's fun stuff. Anywho. Let's get some clarifiers on this because this has been some interesting stuff going down. You guys are, are coming around and bracing it because you made it to the Ten of Swords, current energy. So going forward, we're, we're past that. We're out of that point and it can start healing to get you to an emperor energy. So that's how you do it. I appreciate you for being here. I know I've said that a million times, but I actually really do. It's, uh, you know, it's what we do. Hang out, play some cards, play some guitars, just do what we need to do to heal, right? Because people treat people like shit. That's just, it sucks. Dating and the hookup culture and everything today has just gone so wackadoodle. Taking some ideas from the old days and then just combining it with new technology, which sure, you know, it's like bringing bell bottoms back, right? Let's see about some clarifiers. I have a bigger table I could work with here. Let's see. Okay. If you would like personal reading, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com and we can hang out for a minute. Our clarifiers on the energy at the bottom of the deck is what we're dealing with right now. It's the moon. I've got the moon. Of course, Pisces energy, because Cancer willingly let them have it. However, it is also Cancer. Who is dominated by the moon? Whose dominating planet is the moon? Is it Pisces? Let's Google that. No, it's Cancer. Anywho, Pisces Cancer energy, pure water, showing what's going on and how this moon is affecting you right now. Look at the mermaid out there in the middle of that rock, like on the tip of an iceberg in the middle of the ocean with no thing and no one around her, the whole place standing still. That feeling, that overwhelming feeling is hitting both you guys. That's what's giving you your Ten Swords energy is a Princess of Cups. That, you know, trying to, look, she's like, I'm trying to offer this to you. I'm trying to offer this to you. I didn't mean to do what we did. And we got to get back to that point, Princess of Cups style. And looking good and wanting to do it, right? Trying to come correct and, and making you question it to a pinnacle style. This is showing that the points are in place. Like I said, the Ten of Swords have gotten to a healing point And we're starting to balance out to let that change happen. To go from two to three up to 10 pentacles in an emperor energy five of wands the stupid tent card shows up when you get there so everybody's going to decide to chuck this tent down in there showing that fighting so hard for your knight of cups energy that you're ready to crash the chariot in through a brick wall two of cups minor arcana you showing up wanting to offer your cup up to them 
them wanting to offer their cup up to you, Knight of Cups style. The Knight of Cups has a big enough cup to fill to these two cups right there. And as it starts to balance out, your person is going to get so five of wands frustrated with everything that happened that they're going to finally approach two of cups with that apology you've been looking for. And see, told you we're going to keep progressing. Queen of Pentacles comes back. That's the point of calling the truce because it's it's like, you know what? You're you're silly when you're when you fight. You're silly when we fight. We knew what we wanted. We knew we were going. We knew what was going to happen. Why did you do it? And then the other person is 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 gives you their reasons and like I I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't understand how much I missed you. And like we said, Spider Man and everybody getting one. Even the Queen of Pentacles could look back and go, "You do it again, man." I'm telling you that type of thing. She does come correct, and I do like the hair buns. I do. Anyways. Four of Pentacles clarifying the Four of Swords. Double Four shows up. Telling you to watch out for those signs because the signs and the repetitive numbers on license plates and tickets and et cetera, especially if it's 44, is going to be that tie and that connection to let you know that energies are coming together on both you and your person. Even if you don't see them, they're being affected by it too. That Double Four tells you that in that Queen of Pentacles energy. <laughs> and look what gets us to the final outcome. Clarifying the Emperor, more strength, more dead nuts, straight up Leo energy. Hi, Leo. Coming to the table, Leo Venus. And uh, just showing that you're ready to rock this emperor energy. That um, it's when it finally does come correct, this is a very positive outcome. It's why Leo ties to the sun card, because this is the epitome of getting the happiness that you have manifested. And you guys coming together to make that happen. And, and the relationship will be so strong. Like emperor energy, unbreakable. You guys, if you guys don't have to worry about a third party coming in. If you give it that try, it's going to work. It's going to work. That's how an emperor holds that strength. It takes a lot of effing strength to be an emperor, to sit in that throne of power like that. It takes a lot of strength. The strength from the universe is showing that you guys need it, deserve it, want it, and have earned it. And there's no need to sit there in the, but what if we try and fail? What if we try and succeed? You're going to succeed because you both have realized you've wanted it. You both have manifested it forever. There is none of, when you have the strength of the emperor, holy moly, and judgment with it, with a five of cups showing how much you can get into your fields, but the jumper on the top was judgment that shows up right there as you lay it out. That strength and the judgment being cast underneath this moon is that finally at that point that your person realized it. You realized that the apologize and the apologizee realized that the whole reason this thing was so stalemating was because everybody was so scared to proceed. And you got into so much analysis paralysis that once you come through it, as the energies balance out. And think about it, full moon, eclipse, what it does to the planet and the tides is it stretches the earth. It literally stretches the earth into oblong shapes as the earth spins and the moon spins. Sorry, flat earthers, deal with it. So as it does that, if it can do that to the planet, the planet, how big is the planet? It's, it's enough to carry 7 billion of us, plus a whole ton, but load of water and earth, da, 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 da. So if the moon can do that to that, what can it do to a five foot, 820 pound person, right? It, think about how much it's stretching and oblonging you. And then we get through it with the 1111 portal and things calm down. And then that strength energizes out. You guys both have to write it out. And then realize that once somebody pulls the foot out of the mouth, the head out of the butt, and gets their body back upright and proper, that this connection's been sitting here on the pause button, on ice, protected, Queen of Cups style, Knight of Cups style, this whole time. And it's going to work. You can't, this is not a what if we try and fail. When, you're, when you have the Emperor clarified with strength and justice, judgment, rewind, judgment, How's there any way of saying, what if we try and fail? There is, there is no fail. There is no fail, baby Yoda. I love it. Bad times right now, getting better all the time. Like John Lennon said, and getting better. It's getting better all the time. Can't get no worse, right? Leave it to John to come up with lyrics like that. And it is November 9th. It is his birthday. Tell John happy birthday and go play a Beatles tune. I'm the walrus or something fun. Anyways. Join me tonight because we'll celebrate John's birthday with a fun little all signs. Try a different format too and see where it goes. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I shall see you for your December monthly, guys. Peace out. Yeah.